welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. So once again, our paths cross. Harry Allen Towers' Fu Manchu films share one immense asset, which is also their biggest weakness. I am Fu Manchu. Of course, there is a long tradition of horror actors playing Chinese. Charlie Chan, Mr. Moto, Mr. Wong. And this time there will be no mistake. And who doesn't want to see Christopher Lee playing an oriental supervillain? What's the matter with him? He's not Chinese. <laughs> it's a bit overdramatic, isn't it, Commissioner? And even in the mid-60s, when this was released, the whole yellow peril thing, where anyone Chinese is your enemy, was just a teensy bit wildly racist. Which is a shame, because this has some good scenes, like the girl suspended over a snake pit by her hair. It has Douglas Wilmer reprising his TV Sherlock Holmes as Nayland Smith. Oh, I'm baffled, Petrie. And it's just generally a bit of harmless fun. Did I do well? Although, be warned, the title is hinting at a movie that doesn't exist. Why do you say that? Despite lines like... But now they live only to serve me. They're not brides. They've been kidnapped. Why should anyone want to kidnap me? Nothing sordid. Fu Manchu has kidnapped them to force their fathers to do his bidding. Do you know what Fu Manchu plans to do? He's building a super weapon that destroys using wireless transmissions. Destroy! Then he will kill all the delegates at an international arms conference and... When those men die, I shall rule and the world will be mine. I sort of feel like there may be some other intermediate steps required. Logistics, infrastructure, the fact that most governments will just replace the dead men. Has something gone wrong, Father? Plus, why doesn't he just hypnotise the men the way he did the girls? You will do only what I command you to do. Why doesn't he use his super weapon to hold the world to ransom? It is enough to destroy a city. Why is he following this needlessly complicated plan? Why, why, why? Fu Manchu is a great example of the mistakes supervillains make. This is the destiny of Fu Manchu. If you get a chance to kill the hero, take it. I could have arranged your death at the moment you switched on this wireless set, but that would have been too quick. If you use the words... He made it more useful alive. I guarantee he won't. He will escape. You take the rope and tie me up. Especially if that represents an example of your hiring policy. Wait, it must look real. You must hit me. And you have an easily accessible, unlocked, unguarded back door for people to escape from. And get in through. Above all, don't hire minions who fall for this. Ah! Help! She has a knife! She's killed herself! Who then help to gag themselves. <laughs> and who can be overpowered by a group of unarmed women who've spent the last few months chained to the wall. <laughs> Released only to wash their underwear. Also, there are certain organisations you just don't mess with. And for that we need the cooperation of the British Broadcasting Company. Why, against the BBC he hasn't a chance. The world shall hear from me again. Supervillains are a careless, thoughtless bunch. They put endless work into their plans and then none into the execution. What classic supervillain mistakes did Fu Manchu miss out? Let me know in the comments below.